Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create a picture in picture effect with PowerPoint. So what I mean by that is what we can have is a series of slides. So for example, we have a series of slides that we're putting together. And in one of the slides, we can have a video playing. And this particular slide deck can all be turned into a video where you can put on YouTube or you can put on your CD. So it's actually a media file. It's a Windows media file, It's a, or it can be saved as a uh, MP4 file. So you can play it on a computer with your media player. So what does this look like? Let me go ahead and show you an example of what it looks like. So as I mentioned before, uh, this is basically our video and this is coming from the PowerPoint slides. It's been turned into a video and also there is a separate video that's playing in here. Let me go ahead and scrub this back to the very beginning and play it for you. So that was the video. So let's go ahead and see how we can do it in PowerPoint. So we're basically we're going to need a couple of things. First off, we're going to need to create the slide deck that we want to showcase in the video and turn that into a video. The second thing is getting us another video where you can put as your PIP video, your picture in picture video. And that's something that you can uh, create yourself or you can source it from with a Creative Commons license. And you can get the Creative Commons kind of license for a, another video. And depending on the licensing format, you might need to uh, give credit to the person or not use it commercially and whatnot. So you just have to Google Creative Commons to kind of see what that's all about. So after you get the first video that you created from the slide, the second video that you have for your PIP, then you would have to go ahead and modify some of the video within the slide then and modify some of the animation parameters and finally save the PowerPoint as a video. So I'll go through the, these all these steps right now and so what we're going to do is let's just pretend I have the first step where I have my slides and I want to save this as a video. So what I need to do is go into the backstage view and that's in this file tab here. In the backstage view I need to click on the save and send and in save and send I want to create a video here. So I want to click on that it's going to have this create video command. And I'm going to go ahead and stick with the defaults here. So depending on how many slides you have, it's going to spend five seconds on each slide. You can make it a little bit shorter, you can make it a little longer, it's up to you. I'm just going to stay with the defaults here because I don't have that many slides. So once I create a video, next it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Let me go ahead and give it a file name. I'm just going to call it PIP YouTube or YT and go ahead and click save. And what it's going to do is it's going to start to create that video. You can see right here it's going to create that video as a uh, WMV file. And so we'll go ahead and speed up the video for this particular part. It's going to take a little bit. All right, now it's saved. So I have that particular video. Now I want to go ahead and open a new slide. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new slide. I have a new slide here. And I want to go ahead and insert that video in here. So I'm going to go insert. And whoops, let me go ahead and click on the slide first. Then go to insert, go to video here, and I want to go ahead and find my video. My video is right here. So we can see that that's that WMV file, the pip-yt. Go ahead and double click that, and it's going to insert it in here. And now it kind of covers everything. So if I click play, you'll notice now this particular slide deck is now a video. It's kind of like a slideshow, but has been turned into a video. I'm going to go and pause that. And so what I want to do after I inserted that video is I want to insert the other video, the video that's going to be my picture in picture. And so I've already sourced that video. And so what I'm going to do is I'm already insert. I'm going to insert another video. And so this will be the other video that I'm going to get and go back here. And that was this inspire video. So this video is a little bit longer. Now it's inserted in there and it's a little bit uh, big. So let me go ahead and resize it down a little bit. I'm going to resize it down over here and kind of move it over here now. Let me go ahead and align this. Maybe I'll align it to the, the middle here. So kind of middle between top and bottom. So let me just check if this is the right video. Let me go ahead and play it. Okay, so that's the right one. So that's fine. I'll go ahead and keep it there. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do a little bit of modification for the two videos. So for this particular video, I'm going to do this one first. This video, I'm going to go ahead and go under playback. So I want to make sure that it starts automatically. I'll go ahead and click automatically. And then for the other video, I want to do the same thing. I want to have this start automatically and also hide while it's not playing. So basically it won't be around when it's not playing. 
And I also want to send this to the front because this is a smaller video. This might, just to make sure that this is in the front, let me go ahead and right click and bring to front. Make sure that's in the front. Uh, think of it as a layers of paper. This is the, on the top and the bigger video is on the bottom. So once that's done, what I need to do now is go ahead and do a little bit of trimming of that video. Uh, let me go ahead and get into the, the, the uh, editing here. So what we'll notice here, if I bring that up, is this video is actually quite long. So it's about four minutes and 30 seconds. And my slide deck, uh, for five seconds per slide, uh, I think there was about five slides on there. Uh, the, the first slide, probably I don't want to have it start. So basically, four slides times five, 20 seconds. So I don't want four minutes of this video playing till the very end. So I'm gonna have to chop this off a little bit. So I'm gonna make this uh, particular video shorter. Let me go ahead and move it over here uh, down to about 20 seconds. That looks okay. Let me go ahead and fine tune it. Maybe I'll just have it 20 seconds flat. And that will trim this video. So once the slideshow that's converted into a media file ends at about 20 seconds, this will kind of end around that same time. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now it's kind of trimmed that video. Now basically, we're going to have to do a little bit more later on, but because when the, the video ends, the overall video ends, you want to, you want to have that smaller video also end to around 20 seconds, 20, 25 seconds. So after that, I want to create some animation. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and go under the Animations tab. Let me go ahead and bring up the Animation pane here. So I've clicked on the, the larger video. I want to have that start uh, with Previous. So basically when it records as a slideshow and converts it into a media file, it's going to play it uh, automatically. And also the same for the smaller video. And I'm going to have that uh, display with uh, Previous. And also for this one, the first slide is that intro slide. So, and that intro slide is about five seconds. So I want to, I don't want this to play in the beginning. I want to play it about maybe five or six seconds after that first slide uh, finishes. So I'm going to go ahead and set this delay for six seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of preview it. Let's go ahead and play it a little bit here and see how it looks. So we have five seconds going to go by with this particular first slide. It's going to go into the next slide, and then we're going to have the music come on. All right, let me stop that. And so I think that worked out pretty well. So the video played pretty nicely. So what we want to do also, maybe you want to add a little bit more visual appeal to this. Earlier when you saw the example I had, you had the, the smaller video kind of offset and there's a reflection. You can do those type of things uh, in the format tab here. I'm going to do a little bit different. Let's see, let's, let's have a little bevel here. We'll have a white bevel and we'll have kind of a border around it and then we have some shadows. And after that, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and go to save this as a video file, just like I did earlier uh, with the initial uh, PowerPoint slide. So I'm going to go into the backstage view and save it. So here I'm in the save and send. I'm going to go ahead and create video again and I'll stick with the default. And once I click create video, so we're going to save it. I'm going to give it a different name, pip YouTube and then final. Go ahead and click save. And you notice that it came up with an error. And basically what it's saying is this file was pretty large, um, this particular video that we entered in here. And we did some trimming. And so PowerPoint does not want to save all that extra data or all those extra minutes of a video. Uh, we can actually compress it. And so what we need to do is we need to go back into the, the backstage view and compress this video. So it will take out that trim portion. We only trimmed about 20 seconds out of that four minutes. We want to take remove the rest of those three plus minutes that we didn't need. And so it's going to compress it. So we, what we need to do, we'll go ahead and not continue and we'll go ahead and compress this video first. So to compress this video, basically we just need to go into the info portion here and go and click compress and compress for internet quality. That's that should be fine enough if this is something we're going to share over the internet. So I'll go ahead and click on that and it's going to go ahead and compress the media. And so it'll take a little bit, not too long, but I'll go ahead and speed up this video. Now the compression is done, go ahead and click close. And now we can go back into the save and send and go ahead and create a video. I'll accept the default and click Create Video. And it's going to ask me where I, want, where I want to put it. Let me go ahead and give it a different file name here. We'll make this called Final. Go and click Save. And it's going to go ahead and start the creation of the videos that we see down here. So we'll just go ahead and speed up this part of the video. So now it's done. Actually, there was probably one more thing that we wanted to do. We, we didn't want to have the music from the smaller video uh, end abruptly. So what we might want to do, let me go ahead and go to the playback tab here. So we might want to have it fade out a little bit. So let me 
give it a fade out, maybe about uh, two seconds. So the music would kind of fade out uh, before it gets to the very end. So that might uh, give us a little bit more of a cleaner type of uh, audio fade. So after that's done, let me go ahead and now uh, save the whole video as a video file. So similar to what we did earlier, so I'm going to go under the backstage view and go to file. And I go into save and send and go into create video and create a video. I'm going to keep the defaults here, create a video here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it another name. I'll select this one. I'll just give it uh, final. Maybe I'll call this one final two. Let me go ahead and delete that and just call this final dash two and go and click save. And now you'll notice that it's going to be start to creating that video. And this might take a while, so I'll go ahead and just speed up the video. So now the video creation has completed. Let me go ahead and bring up the video. So there's the video. So you can probably save this video and send it in an email or upload it to YouTube. And so even though PowerPoint is not a perfect video editing type of solution, you can actually create some kind of neat little uh, video type of effects in PowerPoint, such as this picture-in-picture -picture effect. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.